Think about this being your cell phone or laptop. Cell needs to get hot. And so we go. it's failed. And you see some sparks coming out of there. That didn't take long. The explosion was so loud, so forceful, and so quick, it took us by surprise. That's the hazard that we want to communicate. The fire research lab at the University of Texas at Austin showed us what happens when a cell phone battery overheats. Then as they introduce a spark, it's the kind of explosion, while unlikely, that could happen at 30,000 feet. It can cause an accident that the aircraft crew and the airplane cannot manage. It's literally life and death. It is. Uniquely hazardous lithium ion batteries provide their own fuel. Look how one continues to burn underwater. You can't put it out. It's, it's a fire within the cell. So you've got fuel, oxygen, heat in the cell. All self-contained. All self-contained. It's called a thermal runaway, captured in countless social media videos. A serious threat on any airplane. Today I had the scariest moment of my life. And I Cindy Piles took to TikTok, me, my son, my mother-in-law, posting video of fire trucks meeting her plane on the runway after a lithium fire broke out in the seat behind her. She was flying home from Miami, traveling for her job as a wedding photographer. I took my baby and I ran to the first class. I don't know how I got there. I, I think I hurt my uh, my arm. Yeah, I thought we were gonna die because I didn't know it was a lithium battery. Pyle says that scare will make her more cautious with her own camera batteries when she flies. You just have to be extra careful. But not enough people are. <laughs> Lithium ion batteries are overheating, smoking, and catching fire in the skies in increasing numbers. FAA data shows in the last five years, these incidents have jumped more than 40% on passenger planes. Since 2021, there's been an average of one lithium-ion battery mishap on an airplane somewhere in the U.S. at least once a week. We're going to land on 20 right emergency. Those most concerned? Flight attendants and pilots. We talked to both. Okay, across the uh, one left. I know someone is not smoking on this aircraft. That was my very first reaction. Right. In March, flight attendant Christopher Lee rushed to put out a fire from a lithium battery-powered vape on Spirit Airlines. It was in a bag in the overhead bin. Smoke started filling the cabin. The fire, I saw the sparks, I saw the flames. Fellow flight attendants and passengers helped Lee put it out with a fire extinguisher. We're now seeing a lithium battery in full runaway. Some airlines have these specialized bags designed to quickly contain a lithium battery fire. Lee, a member of the Association of Flight Attendants, says his flight did not have those bags at the time. Should we have these bags available as a tool? They're very helpful. They will be very helpful to have. If I'm on another airplane and when something like that's going on, the passenger says, there's something going on with my phone or this, I know I'm going to think, I hope this airline has that bag to combat this. Dennis Tager represents the Pilots Union for American Airlines. He was surprised to learn from us that although some U.S. airlines, including his, carry fire containment bags, not all do. So far, the FAA doesn't require them. Make it the rule. Should the FAA require them? Well, that's exactly what, uh, what we're working on right now. The FAA answers to U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. While the agency doesn't object to airlines using the bags, their latest guidance to airlines says no safety standards exist for these products, and the FAA doesn't have a mechanism in place for their approval. If we're going to go in as the government and say they have to be used, then we also have to specify this type, not that type. That's got to be informed by data. It's got to be informed by research. It's got to go through that process. They all have different applications, depending on if it's going to go on your cell phone or your laptop. Meantime, we found other research underway to find possible solutions. My approach is to invent a battery chemistry that cannot burn. One example, a former MIT professor who's teaming up with an entrepreneur to develop fireproof lithium metal batteries. It's the pursuit of a battery that has high energy density. You can take a blowtorch to it, it will not catch fire. And then it's all hooked up. With an early version of this battery, they're already able to power things like this video game. These batteries are years, maybe even a decade, from hitting the market. Hard tech takes a long time, and we're doing something incredibly, incredibly radical. We're in love with batteries as a world, but we need new batteries. With more lithium-ion batteries on planes than ever before, 
Everyone we talk to says something needs to be done now. Does the FAA need to do more? Do they need to ramp up? Well, they certainly need to finalize some of the rules that are being weighed right now, accelerate some of the processes. The FAA's guidance right now, never pack loose lithium-ion batteries like spares in your checked bags. They should go with you on board the plane. As for your phone and your laptop, protect them from becoming damaged or overheating. For instance, don't let your phone slip between the seats. And if you're not using your laptop, it's always safer to turn it off. I'm Stephen Stock, CBS News.